everybody, and welcome to another edition of Movie News with Bongo! Our top story this week, according to people who actually care, is that uh, this new uh, Marvel movie, The, uh, the Strange Doctor 2, it's the sequel to The Strange Doctor. Uh, it's, uh, it's confirmed now, it's confirmed that uh, the director of this movie is going to be Sam Ramses. He did an interview with uh, someone uh, who wasn't me, and uh, yeah, he confirmed it, because there was rumors going around that uh, Ramses was going to be directing uh, the movie, and uh, now it's been confirmed. So, you know, all these people are excited because uh, Sam Ramses, you know, he's, uh, he's a pop culture icon after doing the, uh, the dead, uh, the Evening Dead movies, uh, and the, the Spider Person, you know, that the guy, the, yeah, he, he did those movies uh, back in the day. And of course, that guy, uh, Brian Campbell, you know, he wants to uh, play the villain or something because uh, the only way he can get a job anymore is when, uh, when Sam makes a movie. He's like, hey, Brian, I got a role for you. It's, uh, uh, I don't know, like a, a pot plant or something. Uh, you want in? And Brian's like, oh yeah, man, give me that. Uh, that will be groovy. Groovy, baby! And speaking of the uh, Marvel movies, uh, the, you know, that uh, Captain Marvel, uh, you know, the one with the chick. Well, uh, yeah, so the sequel, uh, Captain Marvel's 2, is uh, it's coming out in uh, July of uh, 2022, which is like... Uh, I don't know, like six years away? But they're saying this is going to be an important movie in the Marvel uh, Universe because it's going to uh, set up events like the, uh, you know, the American Captain Civilian War. God, I don't know what these movies are called. Well, you know, that movie, how it set up the things for uh, the Infinite War. Uh, so this one's going to be big. And they reckon, uh, you know, this Captain Marvel, she might be uh, leading the new Revengers. Uh, you know, the new team. She'll be like, uh, like uh, you know, uh, Tony Stank was. Uh, but uh, I don't know. You know, she, she gets a lot of criticism, this uh, actress who plays her. Uh, so I don't really know if this is going to wor work. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, I, I can see this working now. Yeah, okay, bring it on. I can't wait. There's good news for uh, people who love to go to the movies. Uh, Ronald Trumpet, uh, the, the captain of the United States, uh, yeah, he's saying uh, in phase one of reopening the country is going to include reopening the movie theaters. I mean, this is, this is really smart. It's a really smart move on his behalf because, uh, you know, uh, you know, if you've got this uh, pandemic of this virus going around, uh, you know, the, the thing you want to do is start getting people together again in a crowded place, all sitting next to each other. If you ask me, I think this idea is absolutely brilliant. But speaking of the movie theaters, uh, this uh, MAC uh, movie chain, uh, they're, they're still struggling, you know, they don't know what they're going to do. They reckon uh, they have to come up with uh, 500 million dollars in order to stay open. So they've come up with an ingenious way to raise the money. What they're going to do now, uh, every time someone posts a, uh, a Tiger King meme on social media, they're going to uh, have to donate one dollar to MAC for them to stay open. So if they're uh, after 500 million, uh, yeah, they reckon it'll take about six hours for them to raise the money. Last week I covered this thing where all these people, all these filmmakers are doing this uh, watch parties, you know, where you can uh, watch the movie and chat to the people who make it on uh, Twitbook and uh, MySpace face, or uh, I don't know. And all the fans of Jurassic Park uh, they're they're really excited because the uh, the the one of the actors uh, uh, well I've got it written here uh, uh, jo Joseph Mozzarella Joseph Mozzarella he uh, the, he played the little kid uh, Tom or something in the movie well he's going to be doing a uh, live commentary on the movie so you can watch it and listen to him talk about it it's not so much because he uh, you know wants to uh, relive the movie or anything. I think it's more a case of, uh, you know, he wants to uh, let people know that he's still relevant. That, uh, well, he even exists anymore, because, uh, let's face it, 
We don't really talk about him a lot anymore. But it doesn't matter anyway, because uh, no one can watch this thing, because it's not on uh, Twitbook or Instant Face or anything. Uh, you have to uh, go onto this, uh, I don't know, like a website or something called uh, I-N-G-N. I, I, G, N, I don't know. And uh, yeah, you can uh, listen to him uh, rambling on about the movie there and uh, pleading with you to remember him. I also reported last week that uh, the San Diego Comic Con uh, is uh, possibly going to be open this year. They're, uh, they were pushing for it, uh, you know, to uh, be open despite all the restrictions and everyone having to stay at home and wash their genitals. But now they've confirmed that it's officially cancelled this year. Uh, I, I think it's because uh, they they realize now that the virus is, uh, you know, it's spread more easily by uh, virgins and uh, overweight people who still live with their parents. What's that? I can't say that? Yeah, okay, well, I'm making it up, but... Ah, uh, fine, whatever, let's stick with your stupid facts. And in our last bit of news this week, uh, does everybody uh, remember uh, uh, Alison Silver Stallone? Uh, the, the chick who played the Batman girl in uh, the Batman and Robert. Well, in a recent interview, she's like, oh, you know what? I had such a good time on that movie and uh, it was so much fun doing fight scenes and working with uh, people who know how to act. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind playing the role of Batman Girl again. I mean, sure, you know, uh, comic book movies are really popular these days and everything. But uh, what she doesn't seem to realize is that most of them are actually played by people who know how to act. Like you've got uh, Rob, Roger, Johnny Jr., uh, whatever, uh, you know, that guy who played the Iron, and, uh, you know, all these other uh, acclaimed actors who, uh, yeah, people love, and uh, she comes along as like, uh, yeah, you know, uh, let's uh, let's let's kick this up a notch. Let's bring Batman and Robert back, uh, you know, into the public eye. Uh, yeah, yeah, great idea. Anyway, that's all we have time for this week. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching the the news about the, a bunch of crap. And uh, yeah, stay tuned next week. I'll have more movie news for you. Oh my God, how excited are you right now? And always remember, if you didn't hear it from me, you probably heard it somewhere else first. Click subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest movie reviews. Skynet will be taking over any day now, so what have you got to lose? Nah.